What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and wail. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hole. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, 
We take care of Alfred. Burn Wareham to the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! in your gut, piglet! has spoken with war and witch. This is our England now. Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. Stand firm all! Do not lose your nerve! This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! Tell me what you know of that Breaker of Rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon King? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham. A squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? The scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took. If there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. As much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or oh, bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me 
We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist? I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Eivor. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. I should be cautious around here. I told you Guthrum wouldn't leave us here to rot. Guthrum! Some of your men! We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. There! This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What is your plan? We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. I can wait this place. This place in moments, my crew. Guthrum's men. Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. Ah, thank you, my friend. But I can rate this place in moments with my crew. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. Families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. Safe here. Let us speak, Guthrum. 
You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Idrich, after Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. It would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Lily, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit. And the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The Lord knows, I've not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mother? Dear love, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet, you came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you fuck. Finir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delights be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready and my heart stout. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you farmers... Tefter, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that guard-whipped boy. That is good to see. And you taught me a lot, Eivor. Our time together was... Well, it taught me much. I'm glad, Tifter. In fact, 
I composed a poem for the occasion. Would you like to hear it? Uh, later, Tefter. I have many allies to greet before the battle. Stay safe and well until then. There you are, Raven. Lufina, pure. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those Order rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, Hjor. Alfred thought to use me, but he will find differently at Chippenham. You, Eva, a lot, my love. I have seen I those know, strong Saxon hens. This last of the I hope the death will be clear. Tales, your I long to return ah. home. And she oh, welcomes you in Colchester ah. Village. Hmm? Better than those sour lipped thanes who haunt our hall. Do you be Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly, through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda. Take Erkian Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Yeah, Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Wessex my torch! 
Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor? When your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone. And this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. I have no fear of death, for this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No, I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. Good room! I need you fighting with the rest! 
These men will not surrender. Lucky from the other side. And one little cock slog barricaded himself behind that door. I will find a way in. I hope the rest are fared as well. Did you see Alfred? No. But your Saxon boys were ambushed. Hold these men back. I'll find them. Go away, Hopper. They will not better us. Unwald! Come, get up! This is no time for weep wailing. I. I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Homeworld. <coughs> Homeworld, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon. You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. <laughs> will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. I need to see if Broda has taken the garrison. to open the gates from the inside. Hurry! These waves of reinforcements are hell sent! Come, brothers. Let's end this. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. 
The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled. His paths he struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Good from hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. My heart is heavy. May Are you ready to honor them? Yes, there's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, she will live on in our memories from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I hear repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. 
Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us.
day, my lord. Hamptonshire has fallen, and with it, the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. I want to see the Alliance map. I should go.